Hey, welcome to Flutter Canvas Tutorials. So this is a new series where I create a simple interaction or an effect uh, with Flutter Canvas. If you'd like to see something specific done, please leave a comment and then I will try and make those ones requested. In this video, I'm creating an animated chart widget from scratch and it displays the data points with a short animation. So as usual, we start with the very minimal just the my app widget showing nothing on the screen. Let's go ahead and create a stateful widget called weekly chart. All the drawing will happen on a canvas. In order to host the canvas, we create a custom painter class called My Canvas. And we generate two overrides. Should repaint function returns true always because we don't update the state of the My Canvas as we treat it as an immutable class. And just to make sure everything so far is okay, let's draw something on the screen. Draw Paint should paint the whole screen with blue gray. Sorting out the imports and it all looks good. So to recap, we have the My App which hosts the weekly chart widget and that widget has a custom painter class where we draw everything to. Next we draw a frame. If you've seen my previous videos, this should be familiar. Just to make it a bit more fancy, we will fill the frame with background color. Next thing to do is to draw the chart. There are lots of things we need to do inside the draw chart function. So we will make smaller functions for various tasks.
First is to draw the chart border. This is very similar to what we just did with the draw frame. Cool. We have a border for our chart. It is coming together nicely. Next is to draw the chart guides. These are the vertical lines to represent each day. So we start from the left of the rectangle and draw lines from the bottom to the top at any given x. Since we are going to be reusing painting style, we will pass that into these functions. Here, col W is the width of each column. We get that by dividing the chart width into six equal parts. We will pass in the data to the canvas so that we can draw the data points. We do that using a path. First we add all the data points to the path and then use the draw path function. We start the path at the bottom left of the rectangle. We will set a different painting style for data points. Now simply we iterate through the data points and add the computed pixel to the path. But before that, we need to get some stuff done. So here we will just document the strategy. The canvas just does the drawing, it doesn't mutate values. So some of the things we need like minimum value, maximum value and the range 
will be passed into the canvas. So we will add them to my canvas constructor. This means they have to be passed in from the weekly chart state class when it builds the widget. So we will add these member variables and initialize them. Weekly data has to be passed into this widget in the weekly chart constructor. But this class is immutable. We can only change stuff in the state class which is mutable. So we will do the computations in the init state function. First thing to do is to take only seven values from the data set because that's all we can draw. And now we can compute the min, max and the range. There's a bug here. I will get to fixing that uh, shortly. But can you guess what it is? Let's generate some data in the main function and pass it on to the weekly chart widget in the constructor. To generate some data, I will use uh, just the random number generator and create a few values between 0 and 100. So here I am passing the dataset into my app and then onto the chart widget. But usually you will generate the data inside my app and then update the state uh, set state, which will automatically redraw the chart widget. more boo boo here <laughs> I just have to uh, declare these variables in my canvas class the f some exception let's look at the buff so it looks like some null reference exception this is because in the canvas the weak data may be null when it draws so we just have to exit the draw function if it is now. Now that we have all the necessary bits, let's go ahead and add the points to the path. So pay attention here. We first need to compute the ratio between the chart height in pixels and the range of data. We will call it Y ratio. This will come in handy when we have to compute the vertical pixel value uh, for each data point. So inside the loop, first thing to do is to get the data point into the range. This is because we are only charting the values from min data value to the max data value. So we subtract min d from data point and multiply by the y ratio to get the vertical pixel value. The x values start from the left of the rectangle and then increase by the column width. One thing to note is that y values increase from the top to the bottom of the screen. So we have to subtract the computed y value from the rect bottom to invert the drawing. So the path doesn't have to be closed after the data points are added. It is only desirable when you want to fill the path with color. But here, I will close the path anyway. After the last data point, it should move to the bottom right of the rectangle and then to the bottom left of the rectangle where it was started. So this doesn't update because I made a mistake earlier when I was computing the min, max and the range. They should be inside a set state callback because otherwise there won't be a repaint. So let's do that quickly.
the take call returns an iterator that has to be converted to a list first. That's why you saw an error there. All grand. Nice chart right there. There's much to do, but we can plot the values and they update. Now the hard part is done. We just have to improve the little things. First, let's start plotting at the first data point, not at the bottom left of the rectangle as we did. This should just give a clean chart path. Uh, next, we will blink this up with some horizontal lines. This is quite easy because we only gonna draw two of them. Um, and then we draw the labels and the title. This needs a bit of work. We start with looking at the text painter class. So according to the docs, there are three steps for drawing text onto a canvas. First is that all the text and styling is contained inside a text span. Text span is hierarchical. This is because if you want to decorate various parts of a sentence or a paragraph, it will create a tree structure. This is just like HTML. Drawing text is a very complex and involved topic. There are many properties that you can experiment with. Perhaps it will take a few weeks of intense study to master all of it. But for our purposes, we're going to simply create a text painter with minimum properties. So here we are creating a function called draw text. We will pass in the canvas, position to draw the text at, and the text for now. Let's create a text painter object and call paint on it with canvas and position. That should just draw it. But first we need to specify the text span. So we create a text span object with the text we want to display. The doc says we need to call the layout function, which require a min and a max width for the layout box. Painter will render the text span with these constraints. Let's try this out. We are going to draw the title at the top of the chart. Okay. It didn't like it. Let's find out from this ever helpful error message vomit. Looks like we have to set the text direction. Let's quickly add that.
Okay, this time there are no errors, but we don't see anything. This is because the text color by default is white. So let's change that by setting a text style that we would pass into the function. Not bad, it drew something, but let's make it bigger and bolder. That looks great. Let's complete this by adding the labels to the chart. We will create a new function called draw labels and draw the X labels first. All right, that looks good. Let's now draw the Y labels. This is quite easy because we are only going to draw two values, min and max.
So there it is. There are a lot of options you can try out to style the labels. For example, you could set the background color, but experiment and see what you like. And if you create something awesome, comment with the link. Now that we have all that, let's see if we can do a simple animation. For this, we will use a simple timer that would trigger with a given duration. At each update, we will increase the percentage. This percentage is used for scaling the data point when we draw. We will get a smooth growing animation. We will use 50 FPS and complete the animation in one second because no one wants to wait forever for a chart to finish drawing. Even though we call it a percentage, it is a value between 0 and 1 and it will increase linearly throughout the total animation duration. So we will pass this as well to the canvas. And when we compute the Y value for each data point, we will scale that with the percentage. And that's all there is to it. Not bad, huh? All right. So this video became very long, but we only scratched the surface of chart creation. When you look at commercial chart packages, they offer a large number of properties and styles and animations. But as a simple solution, this could work well. And we created all that from scratch without using any third party libraries. So if you like what I create, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. The code is as usual can be found on GitHub. I left a link in the description. Comment with your suggestions, the questions, and let me know what you want to see next. Until next time.